Hi everyone, it's Lindsay at CloseCallSports.com. Today I'm playing Umpire Simulator, so I have the dusty old helmet on. This game was designed by beep to bleep at Congregate.com. So let's try it out. Press up for strike, down for ball when you see the pitch. And here we go. How am I wrong already? <laughs> As you can see, there's no strike zone, and you just do your best. I'm saying strike on that one. You get five chances, or I should say, I guess that was inside five incorrect calls and will end your game and you just keep going until you get five wrong and that's how that works so this game reminds me of what happened in the early 2000s Phil Jansen was a former pro umpire that looked outside and he was he got a job as coordinator in the American League that's what how was that a strike that was way high he got a job in the American League when the uh, league's merchant... That was inside. Into the office. My gosh, my story needs to go quickly because I am going to lose here very shortly. He saw a simulator for fighter pilots that was developed in the U.S. Air Force by a person named Dr. Grant Seacrest. And what he did was he created something called the Situational Awareness Training System. I lost. I have to start over again. And they tried to bring that idea to Major League Baseball, saying, we could train our umpires using this technology, just modify it for baseball. And the Navy said, we'll give this, or, I'm sorry, it's the Air Force, I'm so sorry, I'm so distracted right now, said, we'll give this to you baseball for free. So you could put in like a CD-ROM back in, that, in those days. And the umpire would just be basically doing things like what I'm doing right now all day to train on pitches. It would be more realistic than this with, you know, sort of like real pitchers, real graphics from actual games, ideally. And if you had a knuckleballer, if you had a Tim Wakefield type of a person, you could just train on knuckleballs up until game time if you really wanted to do that. So that was the idea back then. At least, let's train our umpires using a simulated program similar somewhat to what I'm doing right now. But Bud Selig and Major League Baseball said, no, we don't want that. Instead, what we're going to do is we're going to have this system called Quest Tech. And Quest Tech they liked because it could rank umpires. Rather than training them, you're going to evaluate and grade them. And you can actually make that public knowledge. And that, furthermore, it could be developed in sort of revised in a way for television broadcast. It's not as accurate because the system's not actually designed to call balls and strikes, but it's sort of like an entertainment thing. MLB wanted that. They wanted that ability to do something like that. That's why we have the systems that we do today, and umpires are not able to go into training to do something like virtual reality umpire simulator, like they could have theoretically had had the SATS system been adopted by Major League Baseball back in the early 2000s. <clears throat> That's my story, all while I'm trying to call balls and strikes, which is really a lot harder in this game than you would think. And this is actually easier than real life, believe it or not, calling pitches. That was a ball? I thought that was, there's no way. Because in real life, you have to think about it this way. You're working in the slot. You're not in the di direct center of home plate like we are now. The batter is not stationary like the batter is stationary in this simulator. The batter's moving around. The same batter does not exist the entire game. You have lefties, righties, tall, short. So you have to adapt for all of that throughout the course of the game. You, you basically have to get used to each batter right when their bat starts and then move on to the next one right when their at-bat ends. You don't get this sort of repetition with one batter. Now, with an umpire simulator, the SATS program, you probably could do this if you wanted, but what I would presume is you would get multiple batters, multiple pitcher simulations, release angles, all that fun stuff. So you could prepare yourself, train yourself to see this, so that when game time comes, you'll be ready to call balls and strikes. So this is a very simple game, 
um, a very simple concept that Major League Baseball almost had at one time to train its umpires. Instead of using it, they said, no, we are going to get Quest Deck and the Ox Track, CSPN K Zone, and you know later iterations like Pitch FX, Stat Cast, and all that stuff. And this type of an umpire simulator, which could have been developed, ultimately went nowhere. And that's why umpires don't get to use this training program. Because if you use this training program, chances are you're going to get better through repetition and experience. So this is what baseball almost had. Thanks for joining us. See you on the site.